If someone isn't making you happy, don't let them make you upset. I am shy. You think I'm gonna just throw myself out there? I'd be inside. If you haven't done it already, go put some lotion on. You should just post your stuff. Good morning. Um, let me go wash my face. Or rinse it. I don't wash my face in the morning. Let me go rinse it. So I'm back. Wash my face. And now we can begin. <coughs> I just, uh, went to a party, a birthday party, like a week ago. And my voice is still like this. It's not, maybe it's just morning voice. Maybe I'm just making it up. I could be making it up. Oh, let me show you guys some. Oh, Merry Christmas. It is Christmas when you guys are seeing this. I hope you're having a wonderful day whenever you're seeing this. And I hope you continue to have a wonderful day. Even if you aren't celebrating Christmas, I can hope. <clears throat> Even if you aren't celebrating Christmas, I hope that you can still have an enjoyable day. And I wish you all the best. But look, before I forget, let me show you guys a painting that I was working on that nobody knows about yet. All this work to show you guys a painting. We appreciate it. Look. Very proud. Look at this. Look at this. I love the way the background turned out. It's for my mother for Christmas. It's a special meaning for her with martinis um, and her dad. So I wanted to paint something special for her. And me and my sister planned uh, to make martinis. I hopefully like we actually make that happen. But anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, get ready with me, otherwise, what would you? Uh, what are you here for? Oh, maybe the chit chat part. I don't know. Are you supposed to put toner on after you rinse your face in the morning? I feel like somebody's gonna say yes. I'm gonna feel dumb. You know, for being, you know, nice and fuzzy, it's really nice, but it's really hot, especially like during the winter. We keep the heat rolling, so it's just like I'm burning up. And before you say anything, yes, I do get ready for Christmas. Not every year, um, but it's something that now that we're older, we want to just take a little bit of time, just get ready in the morning. Also, it makes Christmas last longer in our minds because it's like, I wake up and you know, you're super excited. You just want to run downstairs. Even though I'm older now, I still will. I still want to do that. But it's also like, now that, I, now that I can get up, I can take time to get ready. It creates like a longer Christmas morning situation. At least that's what we're telling ourselves. So y'all, if you've seen the last one, you know the drill, Cerave Moisturizing Cream, and then I will put on or I mix the Innisfree Daily UV Sunscreen Brodium Spectrum SPF together to create a combo. Am I glowing? Is this glowing or am I too bright? Is this glowing to you? It looks like it's glowing. Anyway, we move on and we're gonna pretend things aren't glowing. Put it on your face. Anyway, so I'm making this video because one i like get ready to do thing and two i wanted to say merry christmas and to let y'all know that i'm really thankful for all of you guys for real for real i might be saying this casually but i y'all really mean a lot to me like a lot and younger me will be really proud that i started doing this so quite quite happy right now but um speaking of younger me i think that a lot of people you know have a fear of you know, not posting or fear of posting because they are afraid that they're going to be perceived by other people, that they're going to be made fun of, they're going to be seen as cringy, or they have a fear of looking like something. So they stop themselves from posting because they don't want to, they don't want that to happen. And for the longest, for the, look at I should um, get closer. For the longest, longest amount of time, that was me. I was dreadfully scared of posting because I was so afraid people were going to see my videos and be like, oh my God, she does YouTube? That's disgusting. Or what kind of videos does she even make? Or some bullshit like that. Cerave Daily Moisturizing Lotion on top because we're moisturizing the winter. If you haven't done it already, go put some lotion on. But yeah, and then... <laughs> I was so afraid of being thought of as something weird that I didn't post. And I think I probably, if I hadn't, if I had gotten over that fear earlier, I feel like I probably would have had about 
let's be realistic. Let's say I would have about three years of YouTube under my belt by now if I hadn't given in to that fear. And I probably would have felt way more comfortable now. I mean, I feel comfortable now than I did like at the beginning of this year. But I would have felt even more comfortable. And I probably would have a, you know, a bigger audience. But who knows? Can't say what will happen in the past. Because I'm living in the present. That's dumb. Is that dumb? We are going to do a brush our eyebrows with the Great Lash Maybelline New York Clear Transparent. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> so we're going to brush our eyebrows and we're going to talk about how you should just post your stuff. I know it's easy or said than done. I've been there, been said that, been the one who's like, I'm not doing it because I'm not, I'm not looking crazy. I think what got me posting in the first place is just like, I started thinking, why not me? Why can't I achieve these dreams that I have? Or, and, and, and why do I care about these other people? And it's funny because I guess my close friends, I was also kind of like, what are they going to think about me? Oh my God, oh my God. But then I really started thinking, I was like, man, they love me. They're not going to say anything out of pocket. Oh, well, they could. They could say, <laughs> they could say many things out of pocket, but I feel like they're the ones who would support me the most and they do besides my family. But I was more afraid of these other people who I don't even really talk to all the time. I was afraid of them whispering amongst themselves like, oh my God, did you see what Haley posted? Or oh my God, can you believe she posted that? Or oh my God, can you believe Haley does content creation and she does art? Wasn't she smart in high school? Like I, <laughs> I guess that's what I was worried about. And for like, what? What am I caring about these people for? Because they aren't talking to me on the daily. They aren't in my life. And something I told my sister recently is if they aren't, if someone isn't making you happy, don't let them make you upset. So boom, I posted my first video when? 10 months ago. What date is this? Really? January 31st, 2022. I posted my first ever YouTube video and I was screaming inside. And to be honest, that video is the one that's doing the best on my channel. Pat my back, but I was like, can the other ones do well too now? Like, I got it. I'm doing the thing. So give me the rewards. But I'm in YouTube for the long run, so I guess it's fine. It's fine for now. I'm very grateful for what I have. And that there's even 331 of you guys that subscribed to me. That's amazing. <laughs> Y'all know I don't really do that much makeup, especially not on Christmas. I'm wearing this. Um, I'm wearing Christmas pajamas on Christmas. Why would I do anything super extra except that I'm about to curl my lashes with a lighter. Moment of silence. For my lashes so I don't focus. I guess really we just all I want to say is like I was so terrified of being seen as that weird girl over there by people who don't even matter in my life. And thinking back on it, like that's crazy. Don't get me wrong, I'm still I still feel a little bit of cringe. Still a little bit of like woo, when I post videos sometimes, but it's also just like it's fine. It's fine. There are Billions of people in this world. And there's probably millions of people who are doing YouTube. So it's like, what am I worried about? And some of you might be like, it's easy for you. You're you're that kind of person. No, I'm not. And no, I wasn't. I'm shy. There goes my dog trying to get a squirrel. Yeah, so anyway, I'm shy. I've always been shy. I've My MBTI is INFJ. I am an introvert. And I like to say that I'm an extroverted introvert because I can put myself like here I'm animated but that's the kind of like when I'm around people who I'm comfortable with and right now I'm really kind of talking to myself I'm talking to y'all but I'm comfortable and I I mean now I was not comfortable in the beginning I was like there's a phone in front of me and I had to talk to it how great I am not the kind of person who would put myself out there I barely like going to social events and I don't like going to bars I've never liked going to parties I have never liked, I've liked some of the kickbacks that I've went to, but that's about it. I'd be inside. You ain't got to worry about me. I'd be inside. And I think also the fact that I'm an introvert is another thing that might have kept me back because the feeling that 
someone, me being someone who has already been like on the outside and th feeling like I'm going to be even more on the outside as an introvert, it's just like, ah, 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 no, 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 I don't want to do that. Don't, don't, don't feed me to the wolves. How can I put myself in that kind of situation? You think I'm going to just throw myself out there to be eaten alive? And that's, I feel like that's how it felt. I felt like me posting on TikTok, on YouTube, was throwing myself to the wolves or throwing myself to the sharks just to be eaten alive by all the comments and mean things people had to say in online and in real life. But thinking back, like now, now looking back and I'm just like, okay, if they're saying a comment online, you're a coward. Saying hate comments behind a keyboard. And if they say stuff in real life, are there people I care about? Are there people that I check in on? Are there people that are they are there people that check in on me? No? Then whatever. It matters to a certain point because you gotta be able to process the things that people say about you. But in the all around encompass in the encompassing thing of it all, it really doesn't they don't matter. They don't affect your life. Like I just said a, a minute ago, if they don't make you happy, don't let them make you upset or mad. Revlon Berry Rich. Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick Creme 510. I put it on and I dot on it like this. I know it looks weird. And then I kind of want a more muted pink. So I use a little bit of the brown. Chocolicious 665, same kind of lipstick, Revlon. And I just put a little bit on the inside of my lip like this. And then I wrap them together. And then I kind of just pat the edges so they're not as like weird yeah and then lip gloss fenty gloss bomb right no oh, yeah fenty gloss bomb diamond milk ah. and then i don't like a lot <laughs> like, it, like i said it's freaking christmas i don't need to do that much but i'm gonna do a little bit is this considered extra let me pick my jewelry real quick and then we'll continue this conversation i didn't say this but my lips are really sensitive so revlon these revlon lipsticks and that fenty gloss bomb are some of the only lipsticks i can use at all otherwise my lips like react and they get red or they get red spots i'm just like why and my lips didn't used to always be this sensitive i used to be able to put eyeshadow on my lips and create crazy lip looks and i guess i just took it for granted Cause now I can't do it. Also, another thing about me, I feel uh, naked if I don't have a necklace on or earrings. You're not even gonna see it, but maybe I should take it in. It's for me. So now it's time to do hair. So let's continue the conversation. I just, I want you to do what you wanna do. And if content creation is what you wanna do, then do it. And I don't think you need to be scared of what other people are gonna say about you. Because what's funny is they're probably just as concerned about what other people say about them as you are, even though you may not think so. You may think they got it all. Look at this. I think they are just as scared as you are. I think I'm gonna do two. I didn't bring a comb. Okay. Let's just let's just do this. I'm gonna clip this over here. I have some bows that I wanna use. So yeah, I think this is what I wanna do. But yeah, I think they are just as scared as you are. And on, I think there's strength that comes in with being yourself and doing what you want to do because a lot of people don't get the chance to do that. And I think it's envious to be able to do something like YouTube and put yourself out there because you don't care about being judged. And even though I say that, I mean, obviously I still care a little bit because like I get my feelings hurt. Even if I get my feelings hurt, I would rather have tried and failed than to not have tried at all. So might as well put myself out there for the internet to see and remember. Ah! Wow, I feel like I just like brought myself back to reality. That sounded hella scary. Now we're just gonna add these bows on. I made these out of some ribbon and some bobby pins. <laughs> well, anyway, I think that the moral of the story is you should post that video, post that TikTok, post that Instagram post, because why not? I know it's scary. I know it makes you kind of hurt inside thinking of people might be perceiving you as cringy, 
But you know what? Screw those people. They don't mean anything to you. Not really. And the people who actually mean something to you that make you happy on the daily, those people aren't going to scorn you for posting what you want to post. They may be like, damn, I didn't know you could do this. Or they may be like, oh my gosh, you do this? Or they might be like, I think you could have worn a better outfit in that po in that video. You know, they're going to be real because they love you. So don't base your future based off on the small people that don't mean anything to you. Base it off of the people that mean something to you. But yeah, this is the end of the video. If you haven't already, like, comment, share, subscribe because it does help me out. But do whatever you want. But yeah, like I said, post that video, post that TikTok, get yourself out there. You can do this. I believe in you. We can do this. And honestly, after getting out there, it's not that scary anymore. That first step is always the scariest. And maybe along the way, you'll be like, damn, I shouldn't have posted that video. But it's fine. It's okay. It's okay to be scared while you continue to do it. It's okay to learn along the way. It's okay to make mistakes. You're okay. You got this. We got this. And I gotta go. So, but one more time, Merry Christmas to everyone out there if you're watching this. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you have a great new year. I think I'm going to post one more video before New Year's, so I'll probably say that again. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to post another video before New Year's cuz next Sunday is definitely before New Year's, but I will see you guys next Sunday. Um, I'm done and I hope you like the video. Uh, bye.